Hello, hey rule people. I have a video explaining how I got Link to carry 21 fairies, but actually there's a way to get Link to possibly carry 999 fairies. It may take a long time to happen, but it seems to be possible. If you don't know me, welcome to the channel. I'm Nico and I have this hoarding problem and I love collecting and doing everything possible in Zelda games. So if you want more Zelda content, I hope you consider subscribing or at least checking out the channel. First, I need to briefly explain a few things. Actually first, let me say that if you try these things in a video and it doesn't work, it probably means you're doing it wrong. It doesn't mean it doesn't work or the glitch isn't patched. Moving on. Fairies appear sometimes in grass after being cut, at great fairy fountains, in this little pond at the southeast corner of Lake Hylia, on top of the Deku tree, and on top of Ebon Mountain by Link's house. However, fairies can only appear if Link is carrying less than three fairies in his inventory. So at first, the maximum number of fairies was 11. You go to the Great Fairy Fountain and have Link hold fairies until he has two in his inventory and four fairies should appear. Put the fairies back in the inventory and grab the four fairies. Now to carry 21 fairies. If Link lets go of fairies, they will fly away because Link is too close to them. But if you drop a bomb, hold the fairies, drop the fairies, and blow the bomb up as soon as possible, the fairies will not fly away. This is a trick you can use to carry 21 fairies. You can watch my video explaining in one minute how to do this trick, link in the description. The problem with this trick is that Link can only drop 10 items at a time. If Link drops an 11th item, the first item dropped will disappear. So you can do this bomb trick only two times. So in order to get 21, Link needs to drop 10, Hold 5, keep 2 in his inventory, and collect the 4 that appear. Now for holding 999 fairies. There is an item floating glitch that allows Link to drop fairies as liftable objects and not as fairies that fly away. And this is how we do it. Of course, save your game in case you lose some fairies. Turn on your camera rune, then go in your inventory. Have Link carry as many fairies as you need. Then this part is the tricky part. Very quickly leave the inventory, drop the fairies, and go back into the inventory. So you quickly press plus A plus. Then hold an item and leave the inventory. When you leave the inventory, the glitch should work. So a couple things when doing this part. If you've pressed plus A plus and Link is still carrying the fairies in the inventory, then you pressed A too soon or you didn't press A at all. You basically didn't wait long enough after leaving the inventory for Link to drop the fairies. Now if you try the glitch and the fairies fly away, then you've pressed the second plus after pressing A too late. You have to go right into the inventory very quickly after Link drops the fairies. If you try the glitch and you see the fairies are not in a bunch, quickly grab them before they fly away. So you should basically go plus A plus, as if A plus is almost at the same time, but plus is still second. If you do this correctly, you will see the fairies are basically stuck together, floating in the air. Now collecting these fairies is a little weird. Link will pick them up like he picks up an object. Then you can drop them. The fairies will be loose, so now you can grab them as normal. Do not throw them. Also, it's better to drop them away from the group of fairies, just in case you keep pressing A, you might pick up another group of fairies by accident. There are a few things to keep in mind when doing this glitch. Be careful where you do the glitch. If you do the glitch on a completely flat ground, the fairies will actually be too high for Link to pick up. You can drop a bomb on top of them, which will lower them, but it may knock them far away into the distance. If you don't catch them fast enough, they're gone. 
You may also try using an amiibo to use a treasure chest to lower them. Shields and weapons won't work, but there is a better solution. If you do the glitch next to a little slope of any sort, you can also use it to elevate Link so he is high enough to pick up the fairies. That to me is the best solution that I found. With that said, there's a chance for the fairies to just float up into the air after doing the glitch. What seems to be the cause of this is if you do the glitch on a higher ground or in water. But I have done the glitch on higher ground and in water. So I'm not 100% sure. So with all that said, try to do the glitch on a flat-ish ground under the fairies, but next to something higher so Link can grab them when you're done. And if the fairies float in the air, reset the game and try another spot. Once you've found a good spot, try to stay in that spot and keep doing the glitch there. Now there are two methods to collecting these fairies. So go to a fairy location like the Great Fairy Fountain, the Ku Tree, or the Ebon Mountain. Then do the glitch until Link has 7 fairies in his inventory. Also, if you find it easier, like I do, you can do the bomb trick once or twice after the item floating glitch when Link has 17 or less fairies in his inventory. When Link has 7, hold 5. Then leave your inventory so Link is holding them in his arms. Then the wild fairies will appear. You can then collect all the fairies. You can then do this again in other fairy fountains. The only problem with this method is that you have to wait until you can collect more fairies. So you'd have to play the game for some time and regularly visit the fairy locations when you want to collect more. And with that said, the second method allows you to constantly collect as many fairies as you like, but it can take some time. Earlier I mentioned that fairies can also appear from cut grass. So you can go somewhere with a lot of grass. You do the glitch until Link has zero fairies in his inventory. Then cut grass. Then collect those fairies. Then do the glitch again and cut more grass. Also, don't go too far away or the fairies will disappear. And don't sit at a fire or else the fairies will disappear. When you've cut all the grass you can cut, collect all the fairies, save and reload and repeat if you want to keep going. So choose which method you like or possibly do both when the opportunity arises. And yes, that means you have to drop tens or hundreds of fairies to make it to 999. I was told that too many dropped fairies can make the game crash. But, one of my viewers on my streaming channel has a screenshot to prove that he did 999. And he said that he did it, so I think I believe him. And speaking of, feel free to subscribe to my streaming channel, Nico Streams, if you want to hang out when I play Zelda or edit some videos. I hope this video was interesting and or helpful, thumbs up if it was either, and thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you want more Zelda content, and I'll see you next time!